I super like how this foxy makeup look. That's why I'm not changing my makeup for today. But if you want to know how I recreated this makeup from Kathleen Light's foxy makeup tutorial, please click the link over here. And this film is about the comment that I received a week ago asking me to do a skincare film. What are the things that I use? Because Shireen Nicole left me a comment and she said that, Hi Kenosha, I'm always watching your vlogs. These videos help me to relax and forget the stress. Thank you so much. Anyway, hope you would address my unsolicited suggestions. Number one, please share your skincare with us for your next video. Your skin looks so fresh even without makeup. Thank you so much. Number two, I just noticed that some of your videos have been edited in an uncomfortable way. There are two videos playing in the same time, which is really hard for me to focus on the videos, noted. And when you do the split screen edit, please make the video bigger so I can perfectly see it, noted. And number three, please upload more frequently. I'm really trying so hard. And number four, make some giveaways. Hehe. <laughs> Sorry if you find it too much, but I hope you would consider these. Thank you. Thank you so much. I never thought that there is someone who actually follows all my films. Normally, I would see people leaving comments on specific films that interest them the most because I don't have one, just one type of content here on YouTube. So I'm really glad that somebody like you, Shireen, left a comment like that. It really makes me feel so good that you do watch the films that I put out and not just specific types in the playlist. So here, I'm going to show you what are my skincare products. So let me start first with sunscreen. So I love the sun a lot. I really love our skin tone. I love that we are a bit yellow tone. And at the same time, we can go dark. It's it's really something that I super like. I used to be super dark when I had a lot of marathons. I joined a lot of marathons in the past, but I stopped because it has been a different type of exercise that I wanted after that when I finished a full marathon. And I noticed that I do get a lot of sunspots. So recently i've noticed that i i really need to put on a lot of sunscreen before the quarantine i would use the term plus this is uh, 130 spf this is i think the most perfect sunblock before your makeup because not only is it the right tackiness it's also 130 SPF, so a little bit of it is enough to really give you the right coverage. When I don't have this, or if I can't find this, I usually pick any sunscreen that is meant for kids, at least 50 SPF, and one of them would be this Koji Sun. One of my friends who have kids, she told me that kids' sunscreen are much better because they do stay on longer because kids are very active and they play a lot and they they kind of like get sweaty faster than because they're very active. So it's the staying power is much better for kids' sunscreen. So if you have the opportunity, you choose the kids' sunscreen. However, if you can find a Derm Plus, I highly recommend this. This is very good. This is the right tackiness. It won't feel gunky even at the end of the day when you put your makeup like the entire day it's not gunky so this is a really good sunscreen plus it's 130 spf so let me just go to how i clean my face like it's either a splash some cold water on my face in the morning or if i need to clean off my makeup i use the koji sun Kojic soap. I really love this because it's very affordable and this is the one product that has kept my sunspots at bay. So it is not my intention to actually look very white. It's more of this product just controls not just my sunspots but also my pimples and there's nothing I can do. This is the one that works. I'm just so glad that this is a very affordable soap. I can use it not just on my face but on my entire body. I just love this so much. I mean, I can survive with just this. If if I had nothing else, I just have this and 
for sure it's going to keep my pimples away and you know my sunspots controlled it's just so good like it's 120 pesos for three pieces even my friends abroad they say you're so lucky because it's very accessible for you it's I, I think this is very expensive in the u.s if you purchase it from there but it's also very very effective so apart from this which i use not super every day but i use it at least three times four times a week to wash off makeup or kind of like when I realize I haven't been using this so much I know that if I stop for like more than two weeks of this I would have a lot of sunspots over here and probably a little bit of some of the pimples would resurface so this is really this is really effective for me however my main 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 go-to facial wash would still be the Senka Perfect Whip. This is really, really amazing. It softens your skin right after you wash it off. It's so, so, so creamy. It's so, no, it's not creamy, but it's like fluffy and it's like, it's like a whip. <laughs> it's so nice. It leaves your skin soft and clean at the same time. It, it, it's good. It doesn't feel dry after using this so it's, it's this is really good and this is really affordable i buy this from casadimori.com but i think recently this has been available in drugstores i do have some of the human nature products scrub i don't really use facial scrubs but i know that i have to keep some of them with me i still use the saint ives apricot scrub but I do think that recently I haven't been using that. So I'm just going to say I've been using this more, the Balancing Facial Wash from Human Nature. This takes off makeup like heck it does. Like I don't know what it does. It has something like a, the formulation is perfect. It just strips off makeup. And the only problem, of course, since this is a scrub, I cannot go around my eyes this is something I do just to pamper myself I don't really see anything super special about this aside from the fact that I can actually leave it on for longer like maybe 15 minutes and then let it act like like a mask and then I'm gonna wash it off but I don't really use it as much I just like having a perfect whip facial wash and then maybe if I want to do a second wash, like a second cleaning, I will probably just use a Koji Sun. Or this first and then this. So, yeah. I do have this Herb Day 365 Cleansing Foam. And I don't particularly think that this does something magical to my skin. But it doesn't break me out. So... I've been drawn to this because the texture is, is also very creamy, just like the Perfect Whip. And I, this was gifted to me two Christmases ago. I don't see it as something that super cleans or super plumps or super like softens the skin. It, it's not like that. It doesn't give you super special promises, but it doesn't break me out. So it's really good. It's like what I do is I bicycle the products because I don't want to use one product too often but if there would be two products that would be my go-to it would be the Koji Sun and the Perfect Whip so these two and interval with some other products that I have with me for the moisturizers I have this white label line the liquid moisturizer which is this one and I also have this placenta cream this this is awesome like this this is the first white label I've ever tried I received one product for free from Casa de Mori just so I can try it out oh my god it just oh my god and I I'm trying to save it because it doesn't have any scent okay I'm trying to save it because um, it's so precious to me but every time I use this I just wake up with really really nice skin like like a baby I do have a review about this and I'm just gonna link it somewhere here so that you can get a full-on review on just this product but this this is amazing this is the the liquid moisturizer version if this is the thick creamy version then this is the liquid moisturizer version so I don't really use toners but when I do I still have this white label toner 
um, I actually don't think toners are very important to my skin. I mean, I could, I could sleep very, very soundly even if I didn't put on toner first before moisturizer. Yeah, but I do have some, so I tried some products, but they just aren't too important to me. However, this one is just like a, almost like a translucent uh, liquid, um, a nice thing to prep before putting on your moisturizer. So, since I am trying my best to save this placenta cream everyday dough before I sleep, and sometimes when I wake up, all I do is put on virgin coconut oil. I have a little virgin coconut oil left, but I do have a spare bottle which I ordered just two weeks ago from, or a week ago from Landers. And this is the organic virgin coconut oil version. I kind of like this brand because the Pro Source smells so nutty. It's just, oh my god, I just love this. I mean, here in the Philippines, people hate the smell of virgin coconut oil because it reminds them of food. But to me, I mean, it's okay. It reminds me of food and all the better because it's so delicious. I feel like I just lathered on vanilla and almond and coconut and it's like oh my god it's it smells so good it's so good like before i used to spend so much on so many things and then i found out that i can use this i put it on my neck i put it on my armpits i put it on my elbows and on my knees everywhere like when i wake up I just feel so, like I have s such supple skin. It's really good. Now you can also try other brands and this is the first time I'm going to try this brand. This is the Kesson's Best Organic Virgin Coconut Oil. I think the only difference with the other brands is that they, they're not as strong enough in the scent. So this one, the Pro Source for me, is probably by far the strongest scent in terms of VCO. I really love it. I love the stronger the scent is, the better for me. I really love the scent of coconut oil. It just draws me. I love it so much. So that's really important to me because um, you can save a lot with just buying virgin coconut oil and just living off with a basic soap and virgin coconut oil. It'd be good.